Hi, I'm Jamie Doherty, and I'm happy to say that I'm going to be part of the Shimmers educational team. Today, I'm going to show you a scrapbook page using the Shimmers paints. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, this is Jamie Doherty. I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step um, -step on how I created the album or the layout that you saw a moment ago. And let me just go over the shimmers products I'll be using on this project. First is the um, Shimmer Paints Vibes. It's Sea Monkey. I'll also be using the Spritz Spritz in um, Eucalyptus. I'll also be using one of the colorings. This is a limited color, Heidi Ho Blue. And I'll be also using the blings in Island Salsa, nice pretty orange color. And I will also be using some of the enamels in Fake Bake. And those are the colors we'll be using on this project. So first what I'm going to do is to create my background. I'm gonna take one of the foam stamps. This is Donna Downey's um, heart foam stamp. It comes on the acrylic backing already. And what I'll need is some distressing embossing ink or any type of embossing ink. I like the distressing ink by Tim Holtz. It's a little thicker than a lot of the other embossing inks. So that your uh, powders stick onto it a lot easier. So I just want to make sure that my entire stamp is covered with my ink. The paper I'm using is by Prima. It's from their Yuki collection. And it's Lumber Grove. What I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss my heart image stamp onto my layout. Make sure that I get a good impression. I'm going to go ahead and lift it up. Now I'm going to use my fake bake onto it. And with the heavier grit of the fake bake, your embossing distress ink will work a lot better than some of the other regular embossing inks. So once you have your image covered, don't worry about if you put a lot onto your page, you can always shake the excess off. Just dab it in with your finger. Make sure you get a good coat in there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna return all my extra powder on it back into my, my little jar. I still have a little residue. I'm just going to blow that off. Okay. I don't mind that there's some left. You can go back through with a little light um, brush and dust the rest off. I'm going to leave what's there on there because I like to see the difference in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and emboss really it with my gun. Like molten metal color. It's really nice. My light's going to be finicky on here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three blue colors, my Vibes in Sea Monkey, again, my Spritz in um, Eucalyptus, and also my Colorings Limited Edition, the Heidi Ho Blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make three pools of all three colors right near each other. And then all I'm going to do, I'm going to put a piece of paper towel down. And I'm going to let this run ah, run right down my page. It was supposed to go straight down, but we're going to fix that. Here's an, a good example of a happy accident. I'm just going to extend my colors across instead of just in my little heart here. And now I'll get that to run down the page. And this is going to be my background for my photo. Let's add a little bit more. Let that run down there. I could also help it out with my heat gun. Now what I'm going to do next is I have some 
of the encaustic paints. It is a wax paint that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to heat some of it to splatter onto my paper. Just to add a little dimension. This is by r and I'm just going to take the paper off. I'm just going to heat one of the corners. Make sure that you, if you're using it this way, um, make sure you hold it straight down. That way your splatters don't go flying across the page. pretty quickly it is a low temperature wax and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blings and island salsa and make sure that I get all my colors shaken up really well I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go ahead and splatter this right around my page as well I want to just give it nice bright touches of color Okay, now that I basically have most of what I want for my background, I'm going to start building my layers. And I have a couple pieces of resist canvas that I'm going to, of uh, Prima, I'm going to go ahead and alter those with some paints. One, I'm going to go ahead and take the um, limited Heidi Ho blue and spray half of it with that. And the other half, I'm going to go ahead and spray with the Sea Monkey. I'm going to set that side aside and let that dry. Now the other piece I'm going to go ahead and paint with our um, blings in um, the Island Salsa. So I'm going to grab a paintbrush. I'm just going to go ahead and paint it right onto my canvas. And this nice bright orange is going to have a really nice contrast against the rest of my muted colors that I've used on my page so far. And it'll help just add a little bit of pop to the page. Okay, the paint dries fairly quickly, which is nice if you're a person like me and hates to watch paint dry. So this is already dry, just that quick of um, a little hit with the heat gun. Go ahead and clean up my mess. And grab our background. And I have this nice little photo I'm going to use of my daughter. And I'm going to go ahead and build up behind her with these pieces of um, canvas in my paper and I also have some of the this vintage paper that came from a um, music book so I'm just gonna rip a piece off 